So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now this video was recorded during early access as THQ Nordic and Nine Rocks Games were kind enough to allow me to take part in the early access for Way of the Hunter so once again a huge thank you for that. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at the various rifles, shotguns and lever actions in Way of the Hunter currently. Now as you can see we're currently in the shop section on one of the laptops in one of the outposts or cabins whatever you prefer to call them and we're going to go through and just take a look at all of the rifles. I'm just going to scroll through so you guys can see all of the calibers, everything that is currently in game. Now obviously this is during early access as I just previously mentioned so certain ones may be added or removed when this actually full releases I don't know this is just what we currently have during early access now whilst I'm scrolling through here I want to talk about something that you will be able to see on the screen now along the bottom of the sort of the bottom right of the screen you'll see all the different info for these for these different weapons whether it's rifles or shotguns whatever you're taking a look at so it'll see what type of action it is so this is a, a bolt action and then we have a four mag capacity it tells you the caliber and then you can see the hunting tier now the hunting tier is basically your your class of rifle and it corresponds to animals having different classes so for example white tail mule deer bighorn they're all class five whereas something like moose and elk and red deer are class six your smaller game which this rifle would be more appropriate for like foxes and badgers they're going to be class three so this rifle would be appropriate for that now you may be wondering how do you know which which rifle is going to be appropriate for which animals well in your encyclopedia which you'll be able to get to just by opening your menu scroll across to encyclopedia and then across to the animals section as you actually pick up need zones and shoot and harvest various animals you will gain info on them and once you take a look in your encyclopedia it will tell you which rifle classes are going to be appropriate for that species now saying that you may find that certain rifles within that class are even still a little bit too big for that specific animal. For example, the moose is a class 6 animal and for example, the 300 Win Mag is a perfect rifle for taking down moose. However, the 300 is not the only class 6 rifle in the game. We also have the 338 Lapour. Now, the 338 Lapour isn't actually the perfect rifle for hunting moose despite being a class 6. It will cause more meat wastage and it will knock your hunt rating down a little bit. And it does seem that if you take the shot from a longer range with something like the 338 Lapua on a say a moose then you're likely to have less meat damage obviously so that makes a little bit more sense and your hunt rating will obviously not be affected as much. But if you're wanting to get full hunt ratings you want to make sure that you're using a rifle in the correct class that will be able to down that animal with one shot as taking multiple shots is going to decrease your hunt rating. But you also want to make sure that it's not too big and it's not going to cause too much meat wastage. Basically your hunt rating is to do with meat wastage from what I can tell. And that's why using something like the 338 Lapour, which might be a little bit overkill on a moose when the 300 is perfectly fine. That's why it will knock your hunt rating down. Now if your hunt rating is knocked down it won't affect the trophy rating of the animal at all. It's two completely different things. Your hunt rating and the, and the trophy rating are completely separate. So you can go ahead and use the 338 Lapua on a five star moose and it's not going to lose any trophy quality but you will lose some hunt rating as you will lose some meat value basically that is how that works now you will have just seen the only lever action that is currently in the game grandpa's old rifle which is a 30 30 and that is what you start off with in game now i would like to see some more lever actions i think it's a shame that there's only one but that's all that's basically here at the minute so we can only hope that in future they'll add more then taking a look at the shotguns we have a, a couple of different options there's only three shotguns in game at the minute so obviously we have this break action here the 16 gauge really really nice shotgun and you'll get to see me shooting that a little bit later on then we have what is very much clearly a collector's shotgun based off of the price alone of 11,570 credits another break action this time a 12 gauge but this is obviously just going to be a more of a collector 
collector's piece than anything with that price. A lot more expensive than the uh, the 16 gauge we just took a look at, which I think was two or three thousand credits. And you'll see it costs significantly more than Morning Silence, which we'll scroll down to in a second. However, I really like the fact that there is a gun that costs this much, because if you are hunting things like moose that pay out really, really well, you know, getting credits isn't too difficult once you know what you're actually doing. And I think to have some more expensive guns that are, like I said, maybe a bit more of a collector's item is really nice because it just shows, you know, how much work you've put into actually grinding credits and actually going out and hunting. So I hope that in future we see more guns costing those kind of prices. It's nice that the rest cost sort of more reasonable amounts so that you can get started nice and quickly. But I would like to see some more really expensive ones in the future. Maybe just variants that are more expensive because they look prettier and more fancy. I wouldn't mind that, just as I said, like for collector's purposes. And it's always nice to have things to spend large amounts of credits on when you have large amounts of credits already building up. Now, for these purposes, I am actually just going to go to the shooting range here, which was part of the tutorial. So you can see various tutorial bits and pieces popping up on screen. So you can have a read of those if you would like, as with the zeroing and aiming and holding breath there. Now, please do bear in mind that even though I'm on PC, I am playing with an Xbox controller. So if you can see the, uh, the various inputs aren't lining up with being on PC, that is because I am on an Xbox controller. Now you'll see here that we have a couple of different challenges coming up in the top left just to hit the various targets. Now these shooting ranges are really good just for getting your eye in and making sure that you're putting your shots where you need them to be. I didn't even go and actually start off at the range, I just went straight into hunting. So I was really nicely surprised that when I came back to actually finish off the tutorial to see such a nice shooting range. I really like the targets, I like how reactive they are, and it just feels fun to actually learn to shoot at the range. I actually really enjoyed shooting on this range. Now, a question that I've seen a couple of people ask, is there any clay pigeons on any of the ranges to practice with the shotguns? No, from what I can tell, there isn't on either. There is a shooting range on each map, and I didn't find any uh, shotgun ranges on either of those, so that's a little bit unfortunate, maybe something that can be added in the future. Although the shotguns are incredibly intuitive to use, I found, and I had no problems getting to grips with one just by going out and hunting. Now there I wanted to give you guys a look at shooting the 30-30 lever action that you actually start off with. There I will have just taken out a wild boar and you'll actually get to see the really lovely reload action for the lever action which I think is really really cool. I love the lever action actually, I think it's a very nice gun and it does actually perform really really well so you're not going to have any problems actually getting started with this gun which I think is a, a really huge advantage. When it can take down something like a wild boar pretty well you know I think that's uh, a pretty good starting rifle and of course it's perfect on the Nez Perce Valley map for taking out things like whitetail which are gonna you know be in that starting area whitetail mule deer they're all going to be easy to take out and the 3030 is ethical it seems for badgers and foxes as well so that's going to be useful seeing as there's quite a few of them around the starting areas as well on Nez Perce Valley and we'll actually take a look at that in a second but you can see here the 3030 performing really 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 well actually on a wild boar it's only a, a small female so you know that doesn't really matter but for the actual performance of the rifle on a pretty tough animal, you know, Wild Boar are renowned for being quite a tough animal, I was very impressed with its performance. Now we're going to take a look at what happens when you shoot an animal with a rifle that is too big for it. So that was a red fox there and I shot it with the 243, which in other hunting games is a pretty perfect rifle for taking out things like foxes. And you can see it absolutely annihilated this fox, dropped it on the spot, absolutely clean double lung shot, just destroyed this poor little fox. But you'll notice the sell price, if you look along the bottom of the screen, is two credits. And if we take a look on the overview, my hunt rating is one star. And I thought, okay, why? Because, you know, a 243 seems like a good rifle for a fox. Well, it's when you take a look at the hunt info, the amount of meat that was wasted was almost 
at almost everything. So that's why there was no value because the value in this game and what you're selling the animals for is meat. I don't know who's going to eat a fox, but either way, that's how it works. So yeah, you can shoot something like a fox with a 243. It doesn't affect its trophy rating, but you will lose out on the hunt rating and therefore lose out on credits. Now, you will have just seen I shot a American Badger here, and I actually shot this with the 3030. Now, I thought the 3030 would be too big, and I actually kind of got it through the neck there. I was a little bit too far forward, but a very small target at quite a distance with the starter scope. But you can see hunt rating five stars. So it meant that, you know, that's the best it could be. That was the cleanest kill. Um, one shot, it's not wasted a load of meat. You can see lost by shot is hardly anything. So that's what you're really looking for. And I was very, very surprised that the 3030 is apparently okay to shoot badgers and foxes with, but the 243 wasn't. Now, of course, things could change. As I said, this is an early access build. And I am purely basing the fact off of, uh, you know, that I would shoot foxes in other games with a 243 and it would be perfectly fine. So again, that's all I'm comparing it to. So it may change, it may not. But I managed to take a couple of other badges there with the 3030 and I know a lot of people really wanted to see the badges so I thought that I would include these. This shot was a little bit low but again it ended up killing it because it's a badger. It's a very small target basically. I think if you hit them anywhere it's still going to kill them. And once again you'll have seen five star hunt rating and a tiny tiny amount of meat lost by shot 0.06 kg and like I said that's basically what your hunt rating is. is It's to do with the meat wastage and how many shots you take but of course how many shots you take is going to impact the meat wastage if you're taking more than one shot that's going to cause more more wasted meat so basically it all comes down to meat wastage is what i'm trying to say but then i ended up taking this badger which was a little bit further away and i did actually manage to get this one through the lungs but the model for these guys i think is really really beautiful and, you know, some of the smaller game in this game needs improvement on the models, things like the pheasants and the ducks and the geese. But the badges actually look really good, in my opinion. And I was actually really happy with that shot. It almost went sort of between the lungs and just split them. But it did sort of manage to get through the top there and actually drop this one on the spot. And again, you can see only 0.05 kgs of meat wastage. So getting more money for that kill. Now... Once again, I knew people wanted to see badges based off of the comments, and I managed to find a group of badges on the Transylvania map. So these are going to be your European badges, and they actually ran out across the road, and I managed to drop a couple of them there with the 243. Now you're going to see, again, sort of the difference on a comparable sized animal, you know, another small game species. Again, fantastic models for these guys. I've seen plenty of these guys in real life and the models look pretty darn good for them, I must say, in game. So once we pick these guys up, you're going to be able to see what I mean in terms of these are going to pay almost nothing. So you can see 11 credits for this badger here. I actually managed to get a lung and heart shot on the run, which I was quite happy with, I'll be honest. That was one of the first heart shots I actually made in this game. So I was pretty happy with that, especially on such a small target. That's a pretty pretty ideal shot but then you know it is a 243 and you can see it's just ripped through most of this badger and then back out the front of the chest but you'll see only a two star hunt rating because we're gonna have lost a lot of meat to to damage unfortunately because of using a larger caliber so you can see the animal weight is 5.54 kgs and the loss by shot is 3.3 kgs so again just losing a lot of meat to a shot which again i don't know who's gonna eat a badger but it's how it works in this game i guess maybe some exotic luxury restaurant like the theme of some of the missions are for so maybe in those kind of restaurants someone might want to eat a badger i don't know but yeah once again another one here with again a two star hunt rating both were females so it, again just no no matter at all 
but animal weight 3.42 kgs and lost by shot 2.04 kg so most of the animal lost two shot damage unfortunately and hence the the low credits but i do like the fact that it doesn't ruin the trophy rating of the animal at all as long as you don't hit it in the head you can shoot it with an overpowered caliber and you're still going to be able to put it in your trophy lodge which i think is really really brilliant because you know you might not see a five star badger again if you lose it and if you've only got a high powered caliber you can still shoot it just make sure not to hit it in the head now we're going to take a little bit of a look at shooting with the 16 gauge shotgun now you will have just seen me there take down this hen pheasant and i have to say this was my first kill with the shotgun and i missed the first two shots i took with the shotgun third shot i hit and i just found it so incredibly intuitive to actually shoot with the shotgun and very enjoyable actually now i missed a couple of shots there but then there was something weird going on with that pheasant anyway it didn't have wings when it took off there but then when it took off again it did have wings again early access things but the reload for the shotgun there as you will have just seen is absolutely gorgeous i love it so so much and honestly i just really enjoyed shooting the shotguns i found them really really fun to actually shoot now you know i've seen that some criticism saying that you know maybe these things aren't the most realistic with the shotguns um you know things like the amount of pellets that you'll see going into the birds etc and ov obviously as i've mentioned before some of the small game models need a little bit of refining which i wouldn't be surprised if we see that in future um you will have seen that only a four star hunt rating for this male pheasant because you can see we took two shots at it which as i mentioned more than one shot is going to knock a little bit off your hunt rating but overall, I think the pheasant models look pretty good. They just need a bit of smoothing out and a little bit of texture rework. Overall, really, really lovely. And something I just have to commend the devs on is how fun it felt to go and shoot these pheasants. I had a real good time just going and flushing pheasants and then actually shooting them. Because something the devs have got right in this game is that the pheasants don't flush until you're almost on top of them. I have real life experience with these birds. I have been on plenty of woodland walks where I have almost stepped on pheasants and then they take off from right in front of you and give you the biggest heart attack ever. So seeing this sort of actually captured properly in a game that these don't take off until you're really close and you know they're not the quickest to actually flee that was really cool and i really enjoyed it and it did sort of give me that feeling of a proper walked up pheasant hunt where you just go for a walk and try and flush birds yourself and then you know obviously shoot them and the bullet can still works pretty well even for the small game you can't go into quite as much detail as you can with the big game going into different organs etc but still pretty well done for the smaller game now i don't know if you get any kind of penalty for shooting these guys on the ground i don't think you do but i just prefer to shoot them in the air like i said it feels pretty easy to do i'm normally terrible with a shotgun and again bear in mind i am on controller so a lot of people say that that's normally more difficult for hitting things that are flying but you know i've had really no problems with shooting these guys in the air and once they do flush they'll only flee you know a certain distance and then they drop back down onto the ground they don't fly for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters out of your sight so you do get multiple opportunities at shots which i think is really good and you'll see that the payout for these guys isn't incredibly high which i think is a very smart move because you know you could easily take down an entire flock of these guys if you just kept following them along which is almost actually what i did here but yeah they're really quite fun to hunt i did actually really enjoy hunting the pheasants like i said they just need a little bit of work to improve the models especially in the trophy lodges but really not too bad and actually a lot of fun to actually hunt them so yeah that's a very big positive now i'm using the shotgun here on some ducks because i thought you know it'd be interesting to show off the duck hunting as well because i haven't seen a whole lot of that being talked about now the duck hunting is kind of similar to the pheasant hunting basically they won't flee until you're incredibly close and i believe you can shoot them off the water and you can shoot them out of the air and yeah same thing with the bullet cam and same thing with the prices they don't sell for a whole lot now i would really like to see an improvement with the waterfowl hunting i'd like to see you know proper decoys and setups and all of that and i hope that will come in the future 
and you know these models need some improvement they look better in the trophy lodge for the for the ducks from what i've seen based off of um flinter's video where he got a five star the the mallards do look a lot better actually once they're mounted but in the harvest screen they look very very odd so i hope to see some improvement on that but again this is very early days this is early access in its in and of itself so i feel like there is plenty of opportunity for these things to be improved and polished upon as time goes on and the drake mallard models aren't bad at all like here it doesn't look bad like at all you know got the nice curly tail feathers and everything but when it goes to this view the head is kind of the wrong shape it's too i don't know almost too flat i don't know exactly but i know that it doesn't look quite right but once again they look better in the trophy lodge and it's not a whole like big deal that there's not decoys and stuff at the moment running around and actually flushing these guys up and taking shots at them is actually a decent bit of fun in my opinion but that is just my opinion and i would like to see improvements to it i'm not saying that this is perfect but it's not bad it's not terrible you know at least it's still fun to actually flush birds and try and get them out of the air with the shotgun like i'm doing here now these are actually some ross's geese and something here that i managed to do i was very happy that i could actually show off is i actually managed to get a double there with the shotgun and i didn't know if doubles were going to be possible or not in this game so i was really happy to see that they actually were and i just thought that that would be something to actually include and show you guys something as well that is worth a mention as you will see there the hunter sense when you activate it if you have shot small game it does kind of put like a, a glowing almost like a circle around it with some lines coming up so you can actually very clearly see where you've dropped small game like this which i think is a, a really huge advantage and i don't know really when you're in the hardcore mode the, the most difficult um, mode which is actually ranger mode i don't know how you go about finding very very small game like this because i think you could very easily miss the small game so that's going to be something that will be interesting to see and yeah the ross's geese they're not bad but they kind of look weird because they've kind of got their tongue stuck out all the time basically but again things that could be improved upon and also just the sheer amount of pellets here i think looks a bit drastic but again things that can be improved upon and without giving feedback on these things you know they can't be improved i feel like the small game has a lot of uh, improvement that it that could be done to it in terms of the hunting and various other things but overall it's really not too bad to actually get get us all started with in my opinion now it's worth mentioning the same rules apply for small game as they do with bigger game you are going to want to make sure you're using the correct class of shotgun in this case i guess or rifle just to make sure you're getting the the full meat price but i don't see why you couldn't effectively shoot a goose with the 338 lapua as long as you don't hit it in the head i assume you should still be able to tax it i've only shot these with shotguns i actually haven't shot any of them with the rifles yet but you know that's what it says for all of the animals so i assume the same rules apply and if you see a, a five star mature of any of these species just sat out you know you know landed on water or whatever and you've only got a 243 or something on you i'd assume you'd be able to shoot it but i would probably still recommend getting a, a shotgun and trying to get the most out of actually hunting them because like i said it is a decent bit of fun once you actually start running around and chasing after them but it could be a lot more realistic and hopefully something that gets improved upon in future but that is going to be it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it i hope that i've given you guys enough information in this one to give you an idea of what you're going to be doing in terms of rifle classes shotgun classes all of that kind of stuff and a little bit of talk about the the hunt rating and how that works and that it doesn't affect your trophy rating at all so yeah hopefully that's enough info to get you guys started with these topics and if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments and i will try to answer any old questions as best as i can and yeah just thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always guys and i will see you in the next video thank you